guys. Welcome to another episode of Horror at the Store. I'm your host, Katie Hettenbach. I didn't stutter. This is great. It's probably because I can breathe better because my throat is open <laughs> and ready for the world. Um, <laughs> thank you to Lenny for destroying my neck and uh, making it l- look like a guy got my throat slashed um incredible incredible i uh, also wanted to say quick shout out to uh the chain uh for the stabby meal um experience that was so fun i am jealous i did not get to go because i had a show but madison and john made some great content and absolutely crushed it and yeah so thank you guys so much for inviting us and let's get into it we have a awesome human here today. She's adorable. Uh, she did not comment on my neck. She just was like, that's a normal thing. Mm-hmm. And uh, she's in the WWE realm. Give it up for Kayla Braxton. Hello, hello, hello. Well, listen, also on WWE, that's not a, you know, it's just something normal thing to see. You know, yeah, yeah, everyone's always got, you know, beat up. and Yeah. I haven't seen any uh, throat slit yet, but it is WrestleMania season, so Ooh. we shall see. Ooh. <laughs> What's the worst thing you've seen in the ring? Okay, so real, like something that happened in real life. Yeah. Um, we had a, a wrestler, he went by the name of Cesaro. Okay. This was kind of when I first started in WWE, and I didn't come from this world. So I didn't know much about it. Mm-hmm. Um, he went up and like jumped to like do a move, but the guy moved, so his teeth <gasps> hit the ring post. Oh. And his teeth went back up into his, into his gums. He was oh. in braces for like four years. Jesus, that was one of the most like ridiculously painful things I've ever seen in my life. Oh no, yeah, <laughs> yeah you know, uh, no, thank you. Yeah, that, no, I'm, you know that's uh, there's a certain thing about like uh, just teeth, teeth, yeah, and like. My brother has like knocked his teeth out and has had so many surgeries and I've had like tons of oral surgeries mm-hmm. just for like other things. But, yeah. Like, I can't even get like my teeth cleaned without crying. Yeah. So. I'm like, I have so much anxiety going into yes. just do like the simple the, thing. Exactly. Well, I can't. There, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, I will wear a mouth guard <laughs> till I die. Um, but yeah. So are you a fan of horror movies? You're wearing a final girl shirt. Oh, yes. Um, I am a massive fan of horror movies. I got into them. When I was really young, that was actually the first genre of film that I was introduced to because mm-hmm. I was I had older siblings uh, and how so they old worked were at you? Black Block Blockbuster Blockbuster <laughs> Blockbuster, <laughs> um, and uh, so they would sneak me like behind the beaded curtains and I get to see all like this, the scary movies. Um, I probably saw my first scary movie when I was like five or six. Oh damn! Okay. Yep. And actually, it was a uh, it was actually the It franchise back Ooh, in the day. So like, that's what good. I was. Uh, so art. Are you afraid of clowns? I or? love clowns. Okay. Love them. Um, pretty much any horror movie that I've watched, whatever the main character is, I'm obsessed with it. Yeah. So I, I love them. Have, have, <laughs> I, I, I love that. I love that. Have you ever been scared by a horror movie or are they more like just enjoyable? I mean, when fun? I was little, funny enough, the, the horror movie that scared me, which now as an adult, isn't really yeah. one is idle hand. <laughs> like, Interesting. Okay. Because <laughs> as a kid, I'd be I'd have my window open and I would just imagine the hand coming in and killing me. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fair. But that's I, fair. I watch it back as an adult. I'm like, oh, this wasn't supposed to be scary. Yeah. yeah. Um. But no, I'm sure when I was little, things like dolls. When I was little, I couldn't yeah. stand dolls. I would like. It was back when I was like nine or ten, and that I think her name was Annie. Yeah. My name was Annie, and her mouth moved. Mm-hmm. It was like the most realistic doll nope. and i remember she was sitting on my bookshelf and it was thundering and lightning and it lit uh-huh. up and then her thing went off like uh-huh. hi i'm annie uh-huh. i was like nope she went into the trash goodbye. next day <laughs> absolutely not <laughs> I'm moving immediately yes goodbye good god yeah mine was um the orphan oh yeah that, oh and that's so real yeah, that is but, real but i was like i guess i just won't adopt or have kids <laughs> i don't at like all, children period. at all I, because i feel like they're all that they're yeah all- so i don't <laughs> I'm just not going to have kids. That's or how I, that, that's a foolproof children. way to make sure some little adult doesn't pose as a kid and murder you. Yeah. You know, uh, I, you know, I want to take care of myself and that's how I'm going to do that. I think this that's smart. not yeah. wise, wise girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, we watched Scream. Yes. Do you remember the first time you saw Scream? Um, also very young. I was actually, when I was told I was going to come in here and talk about the first one, I hadn't even watched Scream 1 in a decade. Yeah. Um, so I was definitely probably younger than 10 when I saw it for the first mm-hmm. time. And watching it back, definitely you pick up different things. But 
I know there, the, one of the, I'm sure we'll get into it, yeah. so I don't want to, but there was a specific kill scene in Scream 1 that sticks with me every single day. And I think I thought about it like a few days ago randomly, even before I got told I was, or asked to come on mm-hmm. this, a specific kill scene, I went through my head the other day where that, I thought it was going to happen to me. I have to know. You want me to go ahead and yeah, tell go you? go ahead. Okay, it's just, it's, it's the, it's getting crushed by the garage door scene. Oh, because yeah. Because my garage door at my apartment actually has a sign like if you miss uh, in, uh whatever incorrectly could result in injury or death and so all i think about is like oh my god i'm gonna walk through there when i've had one too many cocktails and it's, and gonna, then it's gonna smash gonna, me and yeah. then that's gonna that's gonna be it yeah uh <laughs> thankfully though hopefully your garage door has the little uh, uh alarm set i don't want to find out set. that's just <laughs> sure thing. yeah that's how you normally yeah yeah uh, and the weird part about that is like the actress could fit I know. Dog. What was her and name? Tatum? Yeah. Her name? Yeah. yeah like she Tatum. literally is like the size of a child. Yeah. But yeah. It made it funny and cute. Yeah. Vegan. And they're like, what? Her boobs. She <laughs> suck. Oh, no. Her big titties. It's like it's all the like, girls who are like, trying to have like, you know, the big asses these days. And then mm-hmm. like, they'll like, pretend like they can't squeeze through it. I'm like, girl, just stop bending your back. Like, you just, don't have yeah, a butt. You, you, you don't have a butt. You're fine. You're fine. You're, <laughs> you're literally fine. Yeah. No, I feel that. There's, I mean, we. I get it. Yeah. Hey, it's part of the fun. So what are some of your favorite scenes? In Scream? Um, well, so I'm um, a former news person. Okay. I used to work in TV news. So, you know, Gail Weathers. Oh, is, yes. Is, her, her jumpsuits. I mean, her, everything. Her pantsuits, everything. Um, so I need pretty much, and I love how we, that's how we get introduced into like the love story, mm-hmm. the tumultuous like love story over the, of the movies between she uh, and Dewey. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I, I feel like any, all the scenes with her I freaking love. Like when she's getting the, you know, shoots, what's his name? Um, at the end, Billy it was a bill. Oh God. Oh, Billy. 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 He's, he's okay. He was okay. in a recent new movie. I think he's, he, he's, he's pretty hot. He's yeah. really, and he still looks, he's, he still looks pretty good. No, we saw him at a, a, a creep icon, which is a horror okay. convention. And I was like, hello. There's a, I, think I was he, like, you could be my father, but, but also daddy. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, it's like, I'm, I love that you're my type back then and now, mm-hmm. yes, but um, he, was um there's a new movie called Blood. Okay. I recommend it. I think it's on either Shutter or Prime. Okay. He's in it. It's Ooh. great. I recommend it. Um, anything with him. Yes. So fuck Mary Kill. Oh shit. Uh Billy, Stu, and Randy. I mean Billy. However, I love Stuart because I I mean I love him now. Like I've just oh, followed yeah. his career and like he was in like what is that? The uh bad is it not bad moms, maybe good mom. Some new show on mm-hmm. the television that he's in. I, I think he's got this like hot, nerdy, creepy thing oh, yeah. about him. But I mean, come on, it's Billy. Yeah. You know. So you would Or Dewey. Can Dewey be in this? <laughs> Dewey can also be in this. <laughs> I love I, Dave Arcat, you know. <laughs> it's it's really funny because when I watch uh like I've seen scary movie and then I when I go back to watch like the like the OG Scream or even Scream 2. Mm-hmm. Um, and they're like, oh, they play Dewey as this like really even more exaggerated character. And then I see David. I'm like, <laughs> they're really accurate about that. He is all over the he place, is. which is great. But We've, it's it makes the character better. He's literally like what you like. We have had him on my morning show a few times. Oh, he's a big damn. WWE fan. Yeah. I remember one time we did this thing where like we had, it's like we called a celebrity and then had the celebrity call their celebrity friends. It was mm-hmm. a big Zoom call during the pandemic of all these random celebrities who don't know each That's other. That's awesome. And the entire time, Dave doesn't, really say anything but he sits there and he keeps leaving the room and coming back in different scary masks i love it and just didn't i'm like this guy is really but it, he's, he's hilarious he's like, <laughs> he's like he's quiet but he's oh he's, he's there's he's a lot happening up there <laughs> he um i just it, it, it's weird also though that in the film he's supposed to be 25 and <laughs> i am 25 <laughs> and i am like to be a cop right now if i was a cop um at tw- they gave me responsibility like yeah. absolutely not you no know, no no one back when movies were made in the early 90s were cast the way like i mean think i mean this is even before the 90s but even if you think about like greece yeah you know like all that we were supposed to think all of those people were high school students you know like, yeah, they're like no, you were literally 40 <laughs> you're my parents age and you're playing me as a high schooler yeah it's- um i really like i think the cool thing about the screen movies is like all the odes they make to like other you know, horror movies. Yeah. Like, I think like, I wrote it down. I was like, this, um, like when they're watching, obviously, Halloween. Mm-hmm. And I love the whole, like, idea of, like, uh, um, Randy's like yelling at the television, like, uh, turn around, turn around, while Ghostface, mm-hmm. li- Ghostface literally behind him. And he's saying Jamie, yes, which Jamie. is ironically his name. So yes. he's like, Jamie, Jamie. <laughs> yes, yes. It's like he's calling his own name, but Jamie yeah. Lee Curtis. I, yeah, that, that whole ending scene is like, the, it's, it's just genius. And it's, 
I could analyze it all day because <laughs> it's, I mean, he's using the Halloween, Wes Craven uses the Halloween mm-hmm. score in the end and he literally just cheats it. Yep. And it's like, we're going to use this for mine. Or like, uh, Jamie falls down the stairs and then so many, yep. Billy falls down the stairs in the same exact way. And I'm like, damn, you boy. You boy be walk we watch we watch I know but watching they, those movies. That was a lot you, of those movies. Like even like American Psycho. I yeah. like a lot of like which was American Psycho is one of my favorite all time oh, yeah. movies. And like it's fantastic. even though like the second one with Mila Kunis, I freaking Uh it's it's iconic in its own way. I, I kinda loved it even more. Because like I feel like I mean I'm not a crazy so I'm not crazy, I would never murder anybody, but if I but, was <laughs> a serial killer, yeah, I would be you know, Mila Kunis yeah. in American Psycho too. <laughs> but how did she take down? She took down. <laughs> you know, that's what, and she's like 90 pounds soaking wet. I'm like, it would be like me <laughs> taking down a linebacker. Like that's not, that's not realistic, you know? Oh, it's okay. I mean, like. I mean, I could, but I'm not saying like, it's going to be easy. It's, I mean, she really, I don't know. Like, yeah, that part I was like, this, I know it's a movie and I'm supposed to suspend my disbelief, but. You never know, you know, a little, little adrenaline, a little motivation, yeah. anyone can do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so you said your favorite kill was the I, yeah i definitely think that was garage. my um my favorite kill i'm trying to think um the uh, the uh, opening kill of yes. drew who do you think killed her because there's a lot of like speculation i've watched like uh youtube dives of like who killed K- K- casey becker who killed her and it's like is it Stu? who's on the phone who's because yeah. cause they say that what they said was uh, Stu was on the phone because he, he knows how to fuck with her yeah. and how to like flirt, but also like- I feel it. like Billy is the more, like, the killer. Oh yeah. For sure. Like I feel like, I mean, even when we see that scene of them like stabbing each other, like make it look like they mm-hmm. were attacked too. And I like laugh so hard when you have Stuart like, my parents are going to be so he mad at me. So mad. So I definitely feel like he's like the witty- clever one yeah. so he'd be the i 100 percent think he's the the guy on the phone and then billy's doing the dirty work oh yeah yeah there's a there's also another theory that, because like uh uh Stu holds the knife like this oh like okay harder, this is like and then billy holds it like he's this is like, like really look snap. i don't think i've even like paid attention I know. to that so if you like look at that you're like oh i can kind of guess but that's also speculation and like and things probably they may not have even thought about it when they did it so yeah now it's literally like things that are coming in. and i'm like is it true we'll yeah. never know we'll literally never know but it like it could be and it's it kind of, it makes sense because even in the final scene when they're holding the knives it's usually like yeah different, but did you ever think it was her dad or ever think it was um <clears throat> i think so yeah uh i knew it was billy i don't think i knew it was Stu. yeah um i think that was the big surprise i've watched it with people who have never seen it before and i'm like okay I, i'll always pause it i'm like okay who do you think it is now okay and huh. they always are like dewey <laughs> and i'm like you think bumbling dewey so i don't ever th- i never thought it was Dewey. gonna be i was like <laughs> that would be heartbreaking oh my god could you imagine if dewey ended up coming back and being like well if he had become like, yeah. one of the killers i I mean, would, that would have thrown us for a loop. I, right, right. That would have been really good because he's like so, like he's he's stupid. He's like he would love him. He's like you know, but we're all stupid in our own ways. But he's really stupid. Um, <laughs> he's so sweet. But he's he's a sweetheart. But he's dumb. It's okay. We're all dumb. It's fine. It's fine. But he, it just I don't think he could. He'd he'd be like the greatest actor of all time to pull that off I and know. to just. Hey, and he is. He's a yeah. Actor, oh, so. he's fantastic. <laughs> um. Uh, bad mom no bad mom I keep what coming is, back it? to it what, is no, it? what or, is it? something mom something do you know what show the, the good mom is it the good moms where they're like robbing grocery stores I the dairy and, girls no and and dairy moms dairy, no dairy farmers, it's something it's got dairy. good or bad in it working moms I think working it's, moms it's a good I think it's the good mom. The good mom. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. No, because bad moms is the Mila Kunis. Yeah, and all which is fantastic. But um, but anyway, I was just yeah. Talking, no, I got you. No, <laughs> working I, I, moms is a completely. Di- oh wait, is it? Is it working moms where they're like steal? They're like a lot of crimes. They're like robbing banks, robbing grocery stores. It's fine. It's a great. <laughs> it's Good, girl. good girls. Okay. We have the words and like the gender. We're, we're like, we, figure out. We know it's female and we know there's something. Happy in. International Women's Day, everybody. It is a <laughs> Day. Oh, my goodness. And, you know, the, the badass females in this movie oh, I'm with saying. Sydney and Gail. I know. Tatum. 
you know what? Yeah, she is badass because she fights back and is snarky as she's hell. really snarky. And th- the way and she, she knows she's Dewey's little sister, right? So oh, she's yeah. the co- little sister. Of course, she's got to. I mean, oh. imagine like the 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 stuff that he would like. She brought a boy or whatever she did. Like having a cop as a, a brother, she's got to stand up for. Herself. Oh yeah, <laughs> and also like she's. I mean, she's more badass than Dewey is. Oh yeah, for sure. Like pff, for sure. Just, I just, I, <laughs> and also her comebacks and her her and Dewey's relationship are just yep. so gold what um <laughs> like oh uh he's like i'm a superior he's like you're uh your janitor's your superior <laughs> or something like that and it's just Great. like he just has just these little one-liners and they're just fantastic i love um the scene where they go to uh sydney goes to tatum's house and they're in the paja- her, her in her pajamas and they're like she's playing with the bunny and then sydney gets a call and it's long behold mr <laughs> ghost face <laughs> and dewey comes running out w- with a gun it's like what is it what is it i'm like first of all put the fucking gun down no one's here chill out and then he answers the phone after she's already hung up and he goes hello <laughs> i just love that i'm like you she, uh, she's already hung up the phone I know. what who do you no one's gonna be there are you dumb i would, I would love to like pick his brand on like how much of that he may have like ad-libbed in the yeah. moment just to like add more like comedy behind it oh it's brilliant because i think it was definitely one of the earlier earlier representations of like a good comedic act in mm-hmm. a horror movie to where you're yeah. kind of getting you know best of both worlds because sometimes horror movies try to do the funny thing and it just doesn't work oh yeah takes me out of it and i'm just not into it anymore yeah. oh 100 <laughs> he's just he's so he's so funny i think his i think his dad don't, don't want to quote this but i think his dad used to was a clown oh wow and i think he's oh my like, gosh that's and he has clowns he, yeah I, that I makes think, sense because that one his dad's <laughs> connected to bozo the clown if i'm not oh mistaken. that's amazing and he's like he has like so he has like a clowning <laughs> persona um that he also puts on so he's he's just this goofy human so the fact that he's like acting serious in these yeah movies, but also bringing out the clown is just that's great just elegant <laughs> it's just beautiful it's um so sydney wears some pretty sick pajamas in the opening scene if you recall i think i paid attention it's literally like a i think it's like a muumuu is what they call okay. it okay which is just like an <laughs> it looks like a grandma outfit uh, so wh- what kind of pajamas do you wear <laughs> maybe i don't wear any at all the ass- oh shit kidding i do because i'm i actually am still afraid of um letting my bare leg or foot hang off the bed without being covered. Oh, same. That's yeah. something I just always like freak out about. Don't want anything grabbed my my legs. So I'm in, I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. I don't yeah. think I even own a set of pajamas. Same. Um, yeah, same. Same. Yeah. No, yeah, same. I uh, I always think there's someone under my bed, but they can't fit under, under there because I have so much stuff. <laughs> Smart. So, so I'm like, they can't. <laughs> They can't fit if there's stuff there, so you just hoard. You start becoming a hoarder. A hoarder just to... Yeah, just to make sure there's no the killers fan. anywhere. They can't hide. What is funny, though, is like, my fr- I actually texted my friend yesterday because I wanted to, like, go out and do something. I'm like, no, I'm going to lay on my couch tonight and just watch movies. And, like, mm-hmm. I always... I watch, like, scary movies every single night for the most part. Oh, yeah. And I said, is it strange that I literally... Like, I'm in Los Angeles in a new city, and I prefer spending my nights alone in my bed or in my couch in the dark watching scary movies with the curtains closed all the time and i said that's not nor- that's not weird is it and they're like that's extremely weird <laughs> i mean i do that too and i've turned out just fine that's clearly so clearly i'm doing great i went out for a walk today and then this happened you know la am i right Ugh, the worst yeah no i feel that i uh oftentimes will like get off work and i'm like Ugh, i just want to sit down and relax yeah to a nice Just, horror, horror yes. movie. I'm like falling. I wake up next morning. I've clearly fallen asleep uh, with a scary movie on the background. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I sleep so peacefully I'm while like, I'm hearing like, eh, and eh, like chainsaw. Eh. It's delightful. I just, it's, it's like a baby in there. Maybe that's where we're like, well, you're fucking crazy. And I'm like, you're, maybe you're right. You might, you might be onto something. I, uh, chainsaws do lull me to sleep. It's just the nice, the nice sweet sound. Exactly. Have you seen uh, Scream Queens? Uh, you know what? I did not ever really get into okay. it. I mean, I watched, I think, like the first few episodes of the first season. I keep seeing it popping up. I'm like, maybe I should go back it's, and rewatch it. It's a delight. It's, okay. It's so just take it for what it is. It's just campy and hilarious. Yeah. But there's a scene where Jamie Lee Curtis, um, they're sleeping, uh, like two of the, like, the people are sleeping in the same room. And she's like, oh, I need to sleep with 
my white noise and there's a killer with a chainsaw and she's like okay and she turns on the white noise and it's just chainsaw <laughs> and just murder and it's just she's like good night and she's like could you change this she's like no i need this to sleep like, ring, 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 yep, ring. i can just relate i'm like wow that's that's peaceful so that's i think we need that i i think so too yeah. like some people need like you know happy little sing songs birds chirping and light rain i want to hear like the world's uh, ending outside you know yeah i i want to hear sirens <laughs> i want to hear screaming i want to hear blood curling. got that purge siren going mm-hmm. on mm-hmm. <laughs> that's what we need um oh what was i gonna say um okay what is your best or uh, give me your best i can't even say it <laughs> ghost face impression go Oh my gosh! You think on the spot? Can I have on that? Can I have that machine? No, <laughs> this is I. Donald's like, you taking this out? I'm like, no. This is like, this is one of those things that like is so hard to find. That's and so it's one. I I don't. I take everything out of the box. This is one of those things where I'm like, this will never leave the box. I <laughs> know. Uh, I that's awesome. Wait, where did you get that? Uh, my brother got it for me and i was like what a weird thing to get me but you know what i'm here for it i don't know what to, i have nowhere to put it so just kind of it's in my room and i was like i'll bring it to this this is one place where great. it can be seen i don't know if even tried to do that voice before i don't even know if my voice will do it try it uh-uh. why not what, 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 what should i say um a scary movie yeah or should i do it what, what did he quote uh what did he quote we all go a little mad sometimes yeah he, oh that was still his billy yeah. but Whatever you feel like. Oh my gosh, I'm nervous now, guys. I'm put on the spot. Do you want me to go first? Yeah, you go first. Okay, this is my, this is me. Oh, I'm so, you're gonna do so well, and I'm gonna oh, sound like a. You know. It's gonna be great. Okay, no, it's not gonna be. Good. <laughs> it's gonna sound like uh, Kirby and Scream Four. Uh, <clears throat> What's your favorite? Scary movie? <laughs> it feels great. No, it's just, it's just, it's just hello, it's just, Sydney. <laughs> hello. <laughs> You know who you sound like? We you all sound, go a little mad. Sometimes. You sound like Pennywise. No, no, you sound like Roz from uh, Monsters Inc. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take that. Mike Wazowski, <laughs> I'm always watching you. Yeah, well, no, she, maybe maybe she sounds like Ghostface. You know? Oh my, are they related? Well, are they? Are <gasps> they? What? Look at that. That, that makes sense because she's doing some shady <laughs> shit. So that checks out. Yeah, she might be on the the next installment. Oh dang! <laughs> you you heard it, guys. Uh, Scream Seven. Roz is coming to you. That's ya. right. She's coming to <clears throat> good gravy. Um, bathroom. Oh. I was like, what does this say? I wrote down things that like I'm like, oh, I should ask these specific questions. Um, in the bathroom scene uh-huh when sydney's at school okay yeah. is that the real good question ghost face or, or one, is it like a poser or is it a poser there is like oh, everyone kind of dressed up mm-hmm. as as um i mean i think we're meant to believe it was real yeah you know like i don't i feel like that's kind of what the mentality would have been for that but mm-hmm. i mean who knows again i feel like as years go on we could develop all these different conclusions yeah, but right? well, i guess why would it be someone else unless they became part of the storyline yeah if they because i mean they have the one guy running through the halls yeah and but then Stu is like behind is like with tatum and walking with tatum yeah. and then billy's already gone so i'm like is it or is it just in like sydney's head i don't think it was in her head but you know it's also high school a bunch of little shitheads who like yeah i mean i would totally be the person in the stall trying to scare somebody 100 <laughs> percent. you like scaring people Oh my, yes. And I might, so I grew up in a family who, like, my dad loved to do that too. So there was a time he taught me everything I know about scaring people. I love it. He had the cops called on him a couple of times because he went around the town. I won't bore you with the details, but he almost got in trouble for that. (laughs) And then one day I came back from like a party and I got home and the lights were tripped. And I was like, that's weird. Then I started hearing like, something falling down the stairs oh good and i'm like freaking out i'm like you know what whatever like you know monsters whatever. aren't real oh, hello so, is anybody <laughs> there i should go up the stairs i get up <laughs> go on the stairs get in my bathroom look in the mirror and all of a sudden the curtains fly open and it's him with a knife and this terrifying mask oh my god oh yeah i mean traumatized oh yeah um <laughs> and then yeah and he because he's a lot of really realistic scary masks that he yeah. would like go around to like the townspeople in the grocery store and in the grocery store to the little church people and he would just terrify them. Oh my God, your dad sounds awesome. <laughs> He's awesome. Oh my God, I um, I love scaring people. I, I don't 
like to be scared. Um, I like <laughs> to scare people. Uh, we went to the, the Scream exhibit uh, in Santa Monica. Okay. And shout out to them. Um, but uh, <laughs> they, I was, we were like, you know, looking at the exhibit and out of the corner of my eye, like down the hall, I see a little head pop out. And who is it? It's ghost face. <laughs> and someone, and he cocks his head and then he, he vanishes. Darts? And I was like, did anybody else see that? <laughs> did I, are we going to get scared? And then I started shaking. I was like, oh no. Oh, I love We're going to get scared. <laughs> and uh, we did. Um, I knew it was coming, but I was like, okay, here we, here we go. Are, are we rolling? Because I'm not doing this again. This is a one time thing. Yeah, I, um, but actually, doing the scaring is. Oh, like, it's it's so fun. I terrify my mom. Oh, really? Consistently. Oh, it brings me so much joy. Yes. I feel she's gonna die of a heart attack <laughs> one day. I'm sorry, I, I didn't even laugh at that. <laughs> oh no, no, yeah, she's gonna die. <laughs> Silly. Um, no, she. Uh, there's there's been times where like I will like she'll be watching TV and I will army crawl around her bed. I still do this. I'm 25. <laughs> I army crawl around her bed and then I just pop up and just go ah, and then she just. Ah! It's so, <laughs> every time it's so funny i laugh so hard but then if i do it to my dad he goes fuck i'm gonna punch you and then it's scary because you <laughs> might now you're scared now i'm scared because yes. i might get that actual punched. throat thing could be yeah real. he will um this is that yeah yeah <laughs> this is uh he will uh hit me in the face but not on purpose you know of course just out of like fear yeah yeah, yeah which oh. i mean fair, i also that's the kind of domestic abuse that's allowed yeah yeah you know? <laughs> out of fear. Yeah. Um, are you a haunted house person? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That's another thing. So I grew up in Alabama, so we had haunted chicken houses. Ooh. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that was a real thing. Okay. So we'd go after like you know late and literally like, like chicken houses at, like, on these farms, and they would just like take all the chickens out, you know, and then they'd put like haunted houses in them. They smelled terrible. Oh my God. It was so great, and like these things because it's so like not a professional situation yeah they got away with a lot like grabbing you and like oh yeah my best friend turned around and did just like clock one of the characters right in the face it was it was amazing <laughs> um but yes i i love them there's another one that's a haunted um hayride yeah and you have a paintball gun and you can shoot at the zombies that are chasing after you oh my you. god that, that sounds that sounds fun yes and of course it's the you know the halloween horror nights which i go to every single yeah. year and stuff oh, like yeah. that but bit, uh, yes love them they're great i uh i'm from wisconsin and we have a uh, a haunted um, cheese wheel. Yes. <laughs> How did you know? Took the words right out of my mouth. Uh, a haunted cave. Oh, I and like that. That one is terrifying because there are caverns that people just and it's pitch like it is like yeah. pitch black, and it's I've. I might have pooped my pants. I would, or you, yeah. yeah, I would do the same. Yeah, we would, we would poop in unity. Yeah, poop. Hey, <laughs> poop in unity. Yeah, great. the ones that are outside. There's a couple. I lived in Florida before I moved here, and there's a lot of like that's a big thing during the Halloween season. And there's like uh, the outdoor trails and stuff, and you mm -hmm. wear the necklaces that say either yes you can touch me, yes you or no you can't. Oh God, who were the the ones? Really? I mean, I would like to be. I liked it. Like, I mean, I, you, I you like touch. I like. I am so. <laughs> touch deprived I, uh, it's been a while been so a while. i was like I'll touch like, me oh my god hi um this is super embarrassing um give you a hug i know you have a going to murder me I, did, did you feel that spark i know <laughs> then all of a sudden i'm becoming like a part of the the horror yeah family. and then i'm like can we can i join you this is super random uh, drinks after you know yeah what do you yeah what do you do here? Can, I, can i come over <laughs> How far do you live from here? <laughs> I love you. Thanks for like, yeah. I think, yeah. I'm gonna do that the next time I go to a haunted. Should make them just feel so uncomfortable to where it's just like they don't know what to do. Yeah, you know. But they're they're so in it. But I also feel bad because I've I've worked for I've worked f like as a scare actor and oh, okay. uh, not and like behind the scenes as well. And I've talked to scare actors. I'm like, well, how do you feel when someone's like, uh, you should have done this instead, or that? Oh, that would be scary. annoying. Yeah, um, I turn the actual blades on the chainsaw and probably yeah. will use it on them if they did that. To yeah, me. I I do that um, when <laughs> I'm talking because I'm like, I don't want to get scared, so I need to be funny to myself uh, to not be <laughs> frightened, even if it's like not that. Because I did uh, I did horror nights too, and uh, the the weekend one wasn't that bad. But I still was like at any jump scare. I was like, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, you did oh, great. That's a lovely chainsaw you have there. 
Oh, look at those sharp blades. <laughs> Did you do that yourself? <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. Oh, God. It's, yeah, I feel like I would hate that. <laughs> it's, I, I, it's also a new fear. Uh, although I can fall asleep to chainsaws when the, I actually see a chainsaw. It's a new fear. Yeah. Yeah, didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> um. So do you think uh, that there was any sexual going back to the movie any sexual oh, like what are we talking about <laughs> uh, so, 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 did you feel it did you feel the spark um between uh dewey and sydney did you ever yes. so that part it's still it's confused me always like that always because like they were very like flirty but of course he seemed like all about gail yeah but i was like is it like a brother and sister relationship because she's like friends with his like but it's like he's but the he, older brother i can't have it's like i'm I've, in love I've, with my that was always like a, a continuing story i'm like when are they gonna bone you know I, like i feel like this is and he's not murdering anybody and seems like yeah. she, you know she doesn't choose you know the the, the best guys you yeah. know they they like the murder dewey's been there <laughs> since day one <laughs> I know. Like, come on. I agree. I always, I always felt that sexual tension between them. But then Gail never seemed, never seemed really jealous, and I feel like yeah. she'd be the jealous type. Oh yeah. Oh, hundred percent. So Especially never... in the other movies. Exactly. Like... So that's what I was like. Who knows? Yeah. I. Yeah. They definitely. <laughs> like he's like he's, she, she's my younger or she's my younger sister's like best friend. I would never. And then they get older. They're like, <laughs> you know what? What is age? <laughs> exactly. What is age? <laughs> That's fine. Uh, anything, anything goes, <laughs> anything goes. Um, who is your favorite character in, in the first scream? Uh, I mean, I, th I think, I mean, I think it's Dewey. I think it's always Dewey for me though. Just cause I say, yeah, I just think I love that kind of just stupid, stupid humor um yeah i'd say that and he's adorable he he is and you just you just want to give him a big even... hug yeah. he, he seems like he would give good, good hugs it, it, am, is it obvious that i'm i'm touch deprived that... <laughs> okay, sorry, should, should we text dave real quick sorry. <laughs> hey. sorry. um yeah steph and of course i love i mean you hate courtney you hate gail weathers oh, but yeah. i do love her and i always said like if if when this if the continuing now with you know revamping the series mm -hmm. new characters if another gail weathers is needed i want so bad to audition for oh that God, role and just be like the new annoying news reporter person yes that's be like a dream role for me oh you gotta get in there I you know. gotta get in there so if you're listening okay i have a degree in broadcasting i can do it for real she doesn't even need to act. She doesn't even need to act. It's like she's actually doing it. It'll be great. You'll just show up and they'll be like, Who the fuck exactly. Just start going. Like, All right. Well, you're like, you got, she's in a pantsuit. She's legit. Clearly, she works on this she's movie. In a really vibrant jumpsuit. I have so many of those because uh, I used to do competitive speech in high school and college. Okay. So I you had to wear those, and I have so many. And oh, I'm like, I I'll borrow a couple. There we yeah. go. Halloween. <laughs> Um, my favorite character has to be the camera guy, Kenny. Um, oh, poor Kenny. Poor, poor, Kenny. poor Kenny, am I right? <laughs> I'm, oh, yeah. God. Ugh, he's... That'd be the worst way to like, get, just get in your throat, just like. Absolutely slashed. Ugh. And it's just, he was such a good character. He's so funny. He was weird. Like, uh, Jesus Christ, hurry up. Uh, my name isn't Jesus. <laughs> just like the throwaways. Or like he's. One of the things he's like playing with a cheetah, and, like, <laughs> like doing like here comes the just in his train, own little world. I'm like you're you're brilliant. It's just he's so it's so it's so beautiful. And I then know. his death is just it was so sad. I was just like I was I really you know like we didn't want him to to I mean he had to die. He had to he die, but it die. just I, I was like, oh it's a thirty second delay. I'm like shit. This is and it. And then he gets out and then the slash <laughs> done. And, and I for Gail to find him on the roof. Can you yeah. imagine you're driving and you're like, I need to get away. And you start to drive and a body just rolls falls down. on you. And then you have to put your windshield wipers on and, and then get all like, the blood. Oh God, Kenny, get off. And then it's just, I would, I don't know what I would do. I think I would probably just get out. I think I'd get out of the car. Honestly. Yeah. I don't think I would continue. Yeah. You probably, uh, yeah. I'd have to mourn that for a second and kind of sit on that. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm always questioning, like, questioning like, okay, well, how do these, like, they really just went from one kill to one kill to one kill. And we're like. I, you know, I obviously like I'm going to keep running away, but wouldn't you just stand there in shock and stare? First? I don't know. I, don't I know there's someone chasing you. I think I'd be you. frozen by, I actually think about that because I, I always imagine scenarios. Like if someone were to break into my home and try to murder me, like what would I do? Yeah. And I've always thought about where I would go because I, my mind is, oh, I know where I'll hide. I'll wait for them to open the door. I've already, like I just have this whole idea that yeah. I will be the one. But in reality, 
probably going to be frozen by fear and I'm not going to be able to do oh, anything. Yeah, you know, I don't think I'm going to be out there like with my nunchucks. Like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh. I don't own them. I don't own those, but you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Surprise. Check under your chair. Um, no, e I even as a kid, my first question when I watched the movie was how did he get up there? And like, I'm 10 years old at this point. To this day, I could not tell you who lifted him onto that truck. <laughs> oh, yeah. They, they, they are <laughs> high school boys. How did they? Hey, look at me, Lacunas and American Psycho, too. Listen, we she can, can do anything. <laughs> Anybody can do anything. It's horror movie magic. Good God. It's, yeah. I just, I, he's up there. Poor guy. Poor guy. So, do you think you would be in a horror movie? Where do you think you would stand? Like, do you think you would be killed first? Like, where? I mean, final think? girl. Final no. girl. No, but we always say we're like, we're going to be the final girl. But in reality, <laughs> what do you, like, realistically, what do you think? If, if it actually happened, not yeah. like in a real horror movie, in a real life scenario yes. that was mimicking like yes. a horror movie. Um, I don't know. I I mean, I'm, I think I might be the killer. That, yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, I'm small, innocent, sweet. Makes everyone feel good about themselves until I don't, you know? Yeah. And then, like, Thanksgiving dinner is just a bunch of people's legs. I am totally kidding. <laughs> oh you heard it here, folks. Kayla is a cannibal. Um, Je Je Jeffrey Dahmer, eat your heart out. Uh, um, yeah, I don't. Really, I don't know where I would actually be in a in a horror movie. Yeah, I think I'd definitely survive. I wouldn't die first. That's, yeah. that's for sure. Oh yeah, everyone. Uh, when we were at the horror con, I was like, okay, who would die first? They're like, oh, obviously you. I'm like, why? They're like, you're. Look at you. And I'm like, what? Okay, first of all, screw you. Second of all, I would either, uh, I'd be like the la one of the last ones to, I feel like I'd be like in the last like, yeah. two or three to die, or I'd be the killer. Yeah, and see? That's, you know. And you know, as a person of color, you know, we can't die for, I mean, look at Jay Farrow's new movies coming out. What is it? Ever, uh, not all, Jay Farrow has a new- uh, He does? Oh yeah, it's is like- it's a horror movie? It's a new like horror comedy. And like the tagline is like, it's all just uh, uh, black guys. It's like, we Ooh. can't all die first. <laughs> Which I freaking love. That's good. Shout out. Um, yeah, who knows? That'd be fun. That sounds like a good movie. So it's called The Blackening. The, the Blackening. Blackening. Yeah, there we go. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> we need to, oh my God. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, so out of 10, what do you think? This movie overall? This one specifically? Yes. I mean, I think this one, I think it's the best. I yeah. think the first one's the best one. Um, it kind of sets the tone, with again, with all the callbacks to other horror movies, sets the tone for all the rest of them. Um, and then, of course, we know the second one's not near as good because it starts with Jada Pinkett Smith. <laughs> Facts. And we are pro Chris Rock in the comedy store. You heard it first. Ah, there we go. <laughs> Ugh. that's fair um yeah that's fair i yeah this is one of the ones where hands down it's uh everyone's always like oh you're so critical with movies i'm like 10 out of 10 i don't have to i mean yeah it's it's yeah yeah i no. mean the rest, there's great you know the other ones are great but oh yeah but they're they're great in their own ways exactly and this set the tone i think for 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 horror how do you rank the films Oh gosh i don't know if i'm able to answer that <laughs> on the spot here i love three um, I don't know if I can give you a full, that, a full right now, okay. but I think three might be my second favorite one. So one, three. Um, I loved the last one. Just five. Because, yeah. Let's just go one. Let's just start there. We'll go oh. and then one, we'll three, just, five. the other two are kind of, uh, yeah. Okay. Where, where do you stand? Uh, one, four, uh, two, five, three. Okay. So we're a little like mixed. Yeah. There, yeah. I like four. A lot of people either love four or hate it, but yeah. I, I love it. I, it's, it's fun. It's fun. But, <laughs> They're yeah. all great. They're I'm all... excited to see the new one. I'm going to go tomorrow. I guess when this air, I'm yeah. Gonna, the next time I talk to you, I'll have a, I'll have a full review. Oh, yes. I have, I have a, I feel like it's, it's going to be, I feel like it has to be really good, you know? So oh, I have yeah. very high hopes for this. I haven't seen a lot on it. I've been trying to avoid mm -hmm. like any type of like yep. trailer. I've seen maybe like one yeah, trailer, same. but I've just yep. really have been avoiding it. Um, and I, I'm scared in the theater. Honestly, I'm like, <laughs> when I saw Scream 5 in theaters, it was like, I was nervous. I'm, so, I'm going by myself. Oh, me by? too. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I, love, I don't like when people go with me. To I don't these things. Wanna, I don't talk to me. Don't ask me questions. I don't freaking know the answer. I'm just watching it here with you. Yes, exactly. Yes. I, and it's also, there's a different type of fear that goes with seeing a horror film in a theater by yourself. Yep. Because even if you're <laughs> with somebody, you have that comfort. Even if you don't talk, you still have that comfort yep. of somebody's there. But if it's just you in a theater with a bunch of strangers, mm -hmm. 
this horror movie is happening to you and you are in it. Yep. And it is so, unless people are talking, which always happens in the theaters I'm in. Because since the pandemic, people are terrible at I, theater etiquette. But you're in it. And you're in it. And then you're walking to the parking lot by yourself afterwards or whatever. So it's great. It's going to be great. It's great. I always uh, put, I'm, I, I, this is why people think I'm weird. Um, I will put my headphones in and I will walk to my car with horror movie <laughs> soundtracks in my ears. Oh, as that's I'm great because you're staying in it. Yeah. And then I'll walk faster. Which, honestly, <laughs> if you want to get shit done, listen to the Halloween theme. Oh, there you go. Any time of day. You will walk faster. <laughs> it's great. It's wonderful. Well, thank you for being here. Do you have any final thoughts about the movie or anything? No, I mean, I'm, I'm happy you guys to do this. This is great. It's fun to be able to, I don't have a lot of friends who are obsessed with horror as I am, so I don't get to talk about it much. Oh, well, hey. Uh, my entire apartment, by the way, my bedroom is, um, the entire wall is just horror movie Ooh. posters and stuff like that. So Hell like yeah. having a, you know, a, a suitor over late at night sometimes does not work out because they see my wall and they're like, you're a psychopath. Yep. I don't want to end up on your wall. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's, it's great. And I, I just, I think it's a really cool community to be a part of and yeah. you know, the whole horror. Well, world, hey, so. if you, if you need a horror friend. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, gotcha. I'm taking you up on that. I, I'm going to scare the absolute shit out of you when you least expect it. Where, where are you parked? <laughs> What's your address? <laughs> Surprise, I don't have a car. <laughs> and I have no home. <laughs> I, home. I live here in the store. I'm not real. I'm dead. I'm oh, a ghost. You are. Ah, I think this ghost. is a dream. Um, where can the people find you? Um, all my um, handles are the same. Kayla Braxton, WWE. And I'd be remiss if I didn't again one more time since I am a WWE girl. WrestleMania is in Hollywood in less than a month. So it's going to be it's going to be a really fun time. Hell yeah. Well, thank you so much for being here. And thank you guys for tuning in. Um, we are reviewing all the screams the next couple of weeks. So it'll be super fun. And uh, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button mm -hmm. uh what else review it follow us on instagram twitter everything <laughs> follow us on everything you rock follow kayla yes As rock and happy happy scream happy scream <laughs> <laughs> Thanks.